It is now time to get to really know you. We want to really cool. know the man behind the beard. I know you shop local. Show me what you, like... you got. Oh. He also likes sound effects. If you guys have not watched, I do. How to these words. Um, I don't always get the He's references. He's up. <laughs> but I always appreciate the novelty. Um. All right. So let's let's get to know something about you, James. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Um. What color would your lightsaber be? Are you a Star Wars fan? Purple. Purple's the best one. Of course, it would be purple. I agree. I mean, uh, the fact that the fact that uh, Samuel Jackson's like in his contract's like, hey, <laughs> I, I get a purple sort lightsaber and I'm the only one who has one. I'm like, that's yeah. dope. I'm like, uh, well, I'm down with that. Now he's not the only one. Now James yeah. also yeah. has one. Um, oh, this is one that also Gamer Doc. I know you're friends with Gamer Doc. Um, mm -hmm. She's a friend of your show. Um, she's been on here and she also got this question. Are candy apples really candy? Well, I mean, Halloween. fruit is nature's fruit is nature's candy, or okay. so Marge Simpson tells us in an episode of The Simpsons, and then all the kids roll their eyes. Uh, but I will tell you that if I get my kids a candy apple versus a regular apple, they are dang well eating that candy apple. So I will say it is candy. How often do you buy your children candy apples? Well, living in the Midwest of the United States, where Halloween corn mazes, uh, mm. you know that that. Uh, apple cider uh, donuts is like, oh, yeah. you know, the pumpkin farm. Uh, candy apples is a part of that. So at least now, now is the time of year where we're getting into candy apple season as well. Okay. So let me ask you this then. For you, are candy apples actually the ones with the candy shell or are they caramel apples? Oh, caramel. They're caramel because caramel. they have the candy ones. And I talked about this with Gamer Doc and I said, but the candy ones, like with actual candy, they just break your teeth. Like it's got to be the caramel apples. Oh, I'm all about. I'm all about. And you're talking to the son of a pastry chef. Uh, oh, um, so <laughs> nice. So when it comes to desserts and the quality of the desserts yeah. and the, the they have to be. I'm not talking about getting some Andy uh, taffy apple. Uh, what do they call them? Affy yeah. tapple. Yeah, the generic ones you get at the you know yeah, no. that you find in the produce section. No, um, not doing that. No, I'm talking about like going to an actual, you know, an an actual bakery Pumpkin or whatever patch. and getting up yeah yep. going the hay ride getting one made right there get the caramel apple yeah i mean yep. i'm uh in eastern canada we do a lot of that mm -hmm. here too with the pumpkin take off eh? apple picking get a comes out once in a while um what is your favorite quentin tarantino film oh gosh um well I mean, I saw Pulp Fiction like 20 times, a ironically, at the same theater that Tilt and the uh, hey! uh, ice rink was. <laughs> yeah. Back to the back. Because it was a, it was the dollar theater. And I saw I saw mm. Pulp Fiction like 20 times one summer. Like I saw I think I saw it once uh, every day for like seven straight days. Oh, wow. Um, but you know what was it's not so much the movie that gets me of uh, any Tarantino movie. It's the soundtracks. It's the music. It's Pulp Fiction and soundtrack Pulp is Beginning to end the Pulp Fiction. So the good. Reservoir Dogs is very good. Yeah. But Pulp Fiction soundtrack to me is the best. Ezekiel 25, 17. Thir Path of uh, Ezekiel 25, is it 25, 13, 25, 25 No, minutes. you know what? I, now I've got to get a whole bunch of sounds. I'm going to have to get a bunch of new sounds for uh, Pulp Fiction. You need, um, yeah. And the only reason I know that whole monologue is because it's on the soundtrack. Because I have the soundtrack or I did when CDs were thing. Um, okay. Which is your favorite streamer to watch? That isn't me. It says. Well, I will, uh, you know, even though I've had her on the podcast, I, I will say, cause I know you've been on her show too. Lindsay gamer doc. I know she I is, love her show. she's a, she is a star in the making. She oh, is, she's uh, she is, she's engaging, fun, funny, intelligent, um, red and fire red hair, which just is out it's like poof, you know it makes me jealous <laughs> she's also you know I, a, a real doctor not like me and, yes and she <laughs> not you and i i mean we're yeah, yeah. well i'm not yet but you're almost but yeah there. and yes and she, but yeah, i think her her and with and she pairs up really well with dr sarah too and she does. uh the, yeah. they are i can pop in watch them for a little bit and pop out and it's like 
I, I got something out of it, whether I got entertained or I learned some new knowledge or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's, it's one of my favorites. Um, did you watch her play Osarina? No, no. Uh, well, wait, no, crazy. wait, wait. Uh, Zelda playthrough. No, no, I didn't see it. No. Okay. Uh, again, my last couple of weeks have been interesting where I just get home and I don't want to be on the computer anymore. I so No, I mean yeah. I, I, I totally understand. Um, okay. You are you a gambler? Before I ask this question, let me ask you, do you gamble? Are you a casino goer? Well, I do love the slot machines. Okay. And well, thankfully they're not legal in any bars and restaurants here in Wisconsin where like they are in Illinois. Um uh, but I'm not, I, I'm not a huge gambler. We'll just say I, I do like those occasional slots, but I won't, I, I won't, you know, people start well, talking about gambling on the radio. I'll just, I'll just turn it off. Well, we'll see what your answer to this question is. <laughs> okay. The, the question is you walk up to a roulette table. Where do you mm. place your bet? Bet on bet black. On. Bet on black, 50-50, that's a Bet on black. Choice. Or the pat or the pass line. Actually, I found that the easiest oh, yeah. way to do it is the pass line. Yeah, there you go. Very good. Oh, there you go. Topical. It's like the, the topical gods are getting here. We have candy apples, and then we have what did you do for Halloween last year? And the before times when we could do Halloween things. <laughs> Turned ice to my house and stayed inside. <laughs> what? You have kids. You didn't go trick-or-treating. Uh, well, uh, uh, again, di divorced, uh, middle-aged man, uh, kids uh, live with mom uh, up north. Okay. So you didn't have uh, 16, them for Halloween. For, yeah, they, 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 I don't think they really do. My kids love Halloween culture, I'll tell you that. Okay. Uh, my middle one especially. Though this year, uh, my oldest, she was born on the 30th of October. So oh, wow. she almost has a really cool. Birthday. So I've got uh, my oldest, she was born on the 30th, the day before Halloween. My middle child was born on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, wow. And, and my youngest didn't make it to 4th of July. I thought we were going to have a 4th of July baby. He didn't make it. Oh, and I was like that? telling my ex, like, just hold it. And she's like, you know. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Like that, yeah. that doesn't work out. Yeah, exactly. All right. So you turned off your lights. You didn't even buy candy. Turned off my lights and hid inside. Aye, that's what nope. I'm going to do this year. Turn off my lights and hide inside. Um, do you meditate? Um, yeah. And yeah. It, 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 it's not anything that I have like a set routine, we shall say. Mm -hmm. But there are times of the day where I know I just need to shut the door either stand up or sit down and take about 10 minutes and just breathe. And it helps bring clarity. And again, it's turn off the phones, take off the smartwatch, you know, mm -hmm. turn off all the lights, get the room completely dark if you can and just mm -hmm. breathe. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's helpful. It's helpful. It, and it's so good, even like physiologically, like just taking those deep breaths. And, and I love the point that you make, you know, a lot of people talk about meditation and they think I need a special guided meditation or i need to know what i'm doing no you can just turn off the lights and sit there <laughs> for 10 minutes mm -hmm. yeah and it, it you you when you start to really think of like focus on the silence of where you are mm -hmm. it's amazing how quickly all the other things that are way at least for me it's amazing how quickly mm -hmm. the things that are weighing me down disappear oh for sure when i just amazing. focus on the silence yeah and 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 you find out it, and if something is for me if something is still sticking in my head I know it's important. Mm. If it's not sticking in my head, it's it's a momentary thing and it will pass. Then I know I, it helps me to prioritize to what what's really going on. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's an excellent point. Meditation is good for everyone, just like therapy is good for everyone. Um, Absolutely. Do you like amusement parks? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, for, uh, okay. I thought you we can we cannot just stop. On, I mean. If I could sit at the front row of every roller coaster ever, I absolutely would. <laughs> if I could, the um, uh, I love like we have a rena we have the we have a Renaissance fair like a like a mm -hmm. regular one like thirty minutes from my house. Love that. We have Great America just over the border in Illinois. Love that. Um, I I love amusement parks. I absolutely do. I just think that and the roller coaster experience is just fantastic. Disney. Love going to Disney. And my favorite uh, Disney experience was when I was probably 12 years old. Uh, my family went down to Disneyland. Um, I got lost. Oh. And wait, this gets better. 
I went through every ride line looking for my family. So rather than going to a central location, I was like, well, I'm going to go see if they're in this ride line or this, the ones that I wanted to go on. Yeah, so I got a whole day of a whole day at Disneyland by myself, which got me in trouble. But yes, you got to ride. A I lot like, of I like amusement parks. Oh my God. I had a, you... I even had a, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go oh, well, oh, I was even, okay. We do that. We do that. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was in Orlando for a conference and, and for whatever reason, I got there a day early. Like I think I was supposed to do a pre-con and it got canceled or something. Mm. And I'm in Orlando and I, I'm like going, wait a second, I'm on a Disney property. And I ran downstairs and I'm like, how much for one day pass? They're like, oh, you want to hop to all? And they gave me like suggestions and I ate my way through Epcot. And then <laughs> I, I did the magic kingdom in the evening and I did, um, you know, animal kingdom. Like it was the best day I had just a whole day to burn on Disney and I did it by myself. And it was, and yeah. what's great too, is when you're by yourself, they're like, Hey, who has just one person? And it's like, you, you lose like an hour because you're the only one who's there, you know, in line. rather like than standing two hours in the line, you're only there for like 15 minutes because you're just yeah. one person. So, Oh man, I know. I tell my friends all the time. I want to go to universal studios by myself. Like not with my kids. Like I just want to go and see all a Diagon Alley and buy a wand and like not be with my kids. Um, hold on, hold cool. on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my kids are still little. Come on, they're five and they're five and three. They're still too little for Disney. Um, have you ever? This is an old person question. Children of the eighties. I'm kindred spirit with you. This old person question. Have you ever waited in line to get a new game at midnight? Yes. The last one I did was StarCraft 2. StarCraft 2. I waited in line to get the the World of Warcraft expansion, that one that um, made your level go past 60. I forget which. Lich King? Maybe? Um, See, I, 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 I have a friend who she should be a World of Warcraft streamer. She is, she's been playing World of Warcraft for, I think, since the beginning. She's classic. Oh, okay? wow. She would be an amazing follow on a stream and I've tried to get her to do it. And she's, you know, she's a housewife. She doesn't have a job during the day, uh, plays yeah. a lot of tennis, very, you know, I'm like, you are the person who should do this. Like you, you have a different, you know, take on everything. You're hot. I mean, like super hot, like she flies everywhere. I don't know what it means, but you know, <laughs> she can basically go take down dragons by herself or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, that, that, that game is when you're talking about that, I know people who are like, yes, I waited for that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yes, I was super into World of Warcraft for a while. And then I went to grad school and I realized I have no time for World of Warcraft. Uh, Mr. Gal waited for Call of Duty Black Ops. That was a big, Call of Duty Black Ops was a big one. I remember when I was doing my PhD, as I was mentioning earlier, when I had to constantly defend that games are worth money. Call of Duty was always the one, like, the single title that made the most money in, like, 24 hours of sales or whatever. It was always the statistic that I went to. All right. You have one more. One more question. Oh, wow. Already? Uh, that was 10. This is kind of a little rapid fire. Although I have another one I want to ask you, but I'll ask you this and then you'll get a bonus one. Um, Ooh. What is your favorite animated Disney movie? It's the one I pulled out of the hat. Hercules. Really? And that it, is like from a left field choice. I love Hercules. Hercules. And the only, the other one I would say that, okay, I love Hercules because of James Woods, not because of his politics, because of his role as Hades. He was amazing <laughs> as Hades. James Woods was fantastic as Hades. The second one that I, is a super close second is The Emperor's New Groove. What? Re of all the animated movies. Wow. I thought I knew you. Earth, uh, Eartha Kitt and, um, uh, uh, Patrick Warburton were a uh, Kronk and Yzma. First of all, I have to tell my kids, like, <laughs> like we're watching the movie and I'm like, have you ever seen Eartha, uh, uh, Eartha Kitt? And they're like, no. And I'm like, she oh, looks like goodness. Yzma. I mean, yeah. she's like, it's like they, they took her and drew her as Yzma. And, you know, I, I just, you know, oh yeah, it's all coming together. Like I could do sort of the Patrick <laughs> Warburton voice too, which kind of helps because I can do Kronk. Oh yeah, you know the the Cux or Cusco, Cusco's you know castle, cast you know so, whatever it was. Um, so yeah, I, that those two movies are like neck and neck. Mr. Gao says those are solid choices. Thank he you, approves. Mr. Gao. He approves. Um, the question I was going to ask that is actually not one of the one hundred in here, and I feel like I should just ask everybody this anyway. 
because it comes up as like a meme every once in a while on Twitter and Facebook. And I feel like it really does tell you a lot about the person. What movie okay. do you know? What movie do you know Tim Curry from? Oh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. See, I do know you. I knew I liked you. All right. Watch this. Watch this. You ready for this? This is this is your added, added, added bonus. Oh, let's get let's hear it. How do you do I? Okay. See you've met my faithful handyman. He's just a little broad down because when you knocked, he thought you were the candy man. So that. yeah, that's, that's a little really bit of sweet good. transvestite. And I can do the whole, I've, I've karaoke the whole thing in bars. See? Yeah. So why don't on Halloween, you just like get dressed up. You could, it seems like you go to Renaissance fairs, you like Rocky Horror, but you close the doors and mm -hmm. turn off the lights on Halloween. Missed opportunities, I feel like. Well, if I could, if if there was a, a a play revival of Rocky Horror, I would go try out and I would go try out to be Frankenfurter. Yeah. Yeah. Your voice and is pretty good. If not Eddie. I could be Eddie. But yeah. uh if I had to do like obviously Clue is a close second. Oh, Clue was um, Annie. Mm. Well, Annie, when he was Rooster and Annie. I deep mean cut. What's that? It's a deep cut. It's not one usually oh, one yes. people talk about. Yeah. Well, the one that a lot of people don't know is uh oh, what was the one with Tom Cruise and um he played uh the the big horn devil guy. Uh it was um not Labyrinth. It was, it was not Labyrinth. Uh somebody in the chat probably knows this one. But uh, even in that role, like, he didn't even recognize it was Tim Curry until after you're like, Oh, that's Tim Curry. Mm, let's see. Well now I have to figure out what it is. Um I it love was, Rocky Horror is always my answer, but um, Clue was one of those movies. I'm, I'm looking through IMDb to try to find the name of that movie. Clue was one of those movies that um, I would watch as a kid back in the olden days before you could stream television. Like it would just be on the TV at like midnight on like a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And the scene where the singing telegram person comes to the door, that lady freaked me out. I had nightmares really? about that singing telegram. The way she like, nah, 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 I don't know, like her arm movements. There's something about her. She was so freaky to me as a kid. So uh, I'll share. You want a secret? I think you should ask a question like, what's a big secret you want to share with everybody? What's a big secret you would like to share with the class, James? Please tell. So to, to in that same vein of being freaked out by the singing telegram person, uh, when I was a child, I would watch Captain Kangaroo. Mm -hmm. And Captain Kangaroo, for those of you who don't know, was like a kid's show in the 70s, you know, late, you know, they, I think it was started in the 50s or something. But, um, the, you know, it was kind of like Mr. Rogers in a lot of ways. You know, it had characters and, and whatever. Well, uh, Captain Kangaroo had a grandfather clock. Mm. And my mom say, would say, Captain Kangaroo would be like, well, let's go see Mr. Grandfather Clock. And my mom said, I'd be sitting there on the couch and my eyes would be, as soon as he said it, my eyes would get really wide. And as soon as the grandfather clock, he went over and started talking to him and his eyes popped open, I was out of the room. Like as soon as that clock started talking, Something I was gone. Clock. Oh, wow. Something about the clock. Yeah. That's so so I was scared of the clock in Captain Kangaroo. Was the movie yeah. Legend? Yes, that's, that's it. It's Legend. the movie Legend. Yes. And Deeper Cut. Deeper Cut. Yes. Tim Curry in The Hunt for Red October, also yes. brilliant. That is a great movie. I don't even like this kind he of movie. He played the KG, I think it was the KGB officer yeah. in that. Tim Curry, yeah. I there are a few actors I love as much as I love Tim Curry. Like the I would I argue I, I would argue he's one of our greatest actors. Oh uh, he's right up there. No it, question. For me, he's like you know, Alec Guinness, Omar Sharif, uh Sir Lawrence Olivier, uh Tim Curry. Tim Curry. Like, there's a mountain. Mount Rushmore male actors that's he's up there with with them oh Mr. Gow said was it legend okay I had to google it he just got it I'm right yes it was legend uh, I haven't seen it I just saw the screenshot though you, you would never know that was him like there's way too no. much makeup on him um yes yes Tim Curry did you see um the remake of Rocky Horror but Tim Curry was the narrator did you see that I felt strange I don't know how I feel about it but it was sad to me to see Tim Curry not in his glory days. Well, I mean, it's the fact that he could still be the narrator and no, pull I it mean, off. And he was the only, yeah. he was the, to me, he was the only agreeable thing that, that, that yeah, worked for that whole That's actually a fair show. <laughs> it was the only redeemable quality about the remake. It was, uh, it was. And, yeah. and I'm not all about, there's one other movie that 
like I felt Rocky Horror needs to be left alone. Don't remake it. Oh, don't yeah. do anything to it. Just yeah. show the dang movie. Yeah. The other one that I'm really panicking about, and it's because it involves The Rock, who I love. I love mm-hmm. watching, you know, um, him him act. Is there's rumors there that they're remaking Big Trouble in Little China, and Big Trouble in Little China involves uh, it's Kurt Russell um, and uh, a bunch of other people. <laughs> All of a sudden, just drawing a blank. But that movie should never be remade. That one stands alone as perfect the way it is. So. Did you see? I saw this just last night. They remade Witches. Witches. You can't remake Witches. They did. Yes, with uh, Anne with, Hathaway. Wait, wait, wait. I That's love. with Sarah Jessica Parker and uh, or no, that, no, no. It, each, That's Hocus Pocus. Eastwick. Witches is one oh, with Angelica Pocus. Houston. You know, where they're bald and they take their shoes off. It's based off. It's not a Roald Dahl book. I always want to say it's a Roald Dahl book, but it, he's not the author of it. It's based on a book. Um, and the movie's just so good, and it turns the kid into mice, and and then I don't know how else. it's it's a great. Movie. I don't it's know that one. It's a classic, classic, classic. I don't know how you don't know it. we're of the same era. Um, they remade I, it, I, and I feel not good about it. I, well, you have witches. I have Big Trouble in Little China. You have yeah, yeah, the witches. Yeah, well, they remade it with Anne Hathaway. Oh, I like her. I love her. Do you know? But, do you, do you know who my, if, if, if he's, okay, uh, my guilty pleasure movies. You okay. need to add this as a question. What's a guilty pleasure movie? All right, give it to me. What, I'll ask you this. What is your guilty pleasure movie? Oh. so it, Like oh. the one you'd almost be ashamed to tell people that you love, you'll, if it's on, you'll pop it in. You own the DVD that nobody owns. Uh, I will always watch The Devil Wears Prada. <sighs> my man. You and me both. <laughs> Stanley Tucci. If, <laughs> if Stanley Tucci is in anything, I will watch it. Uh, it's a Stanley great movie. Tucci to me, I watched that stupid Transformers movie because Stanley Tucci was in it. <laughs> Devil Wears Prada is one of my guilty pleasure movies. Thank That's you, right. Dr. Coart, for that. Oh, good, good. Okay, what are you going to tell us? Tell us your your other your, another one of your guilty pleasure movies. So I've got I've got two more. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Bring It On, with Kirsten Dunst like as the. <laughs> I do like that movie. Yeah. Yep. That's a good one. Cheers. Hey, it's cold in here. There must be some Toros in the atmosphere. And the other one is, is a mockumentary. Um, and it also, it, it stars Kirsten Dunst is uh, called um, Drop Dead Gorgeous. And it's a mockumentary of a beauty pageant in rural Minnesota. Oh, so it's very much like a Christopher Guest type movie, like, uh, you know, all of the, the mock, like, you know, Spinal Tap and, yeah. you know, uh, uh, Best in Show and all that. It's very much mm-hmm. in the same style. Okay. Well, then Love I'll it. have to add that to my list because I do like yes. Spinal Tap and Best in Show. Um, and I'm glad we share a love for Devil Wars Prada. Well, thank you. We've gone that over. Is amazing. We've gone over our time, but yes. it's okay. Um, thank you for coming. It's been great. To thank have you for you having me. And learn a bit about you. And um, you can follow Jim at, at Jim O'Hagan on the Twitters. And he also hosts uh, the Academy of Esports every week. It's every week, isn't it? I do. Every week. The Academy and the Esports EDU chats on Thursday nights on Twitch. There you go. So that's where you can find him. Uh, until next time, yep. everybody, be, be excellent to each other. And um, I'll see you. I'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye.